Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 11. All right, uh, the previous episode, we got inside Illiga's base or whatever that place was and Illiga got what he deserved. He got a huge, you know, punch kicks and all of those things from Shiki and he's pretty much knocked out now. So I'm guessing he'll not pose any more trouble, but his, um, what do you call them? Uh, the mercenaries that he has hired they are going to be probably trouble from here on first of all uh, the guy uh, the mechanical uh, what was it the cyborg ninja he came and probably like you know probably we're going to get a huge fight between shiki and that guy and also like sister is coming inside you know and i don't know but i have a feeling like like you know the, the girls are going to get uh, stopped by sister or something like that will happen because the girls are now going out and sister is coming in so i'm guessing they're going to meet i don't know let's see but something must happen after like you know like after like that and it'll be great if the like you know all the bq will get out of there safely and uh <coughs> you know they're able to uh quickly run away because the chronophage is also here like all things at the same time the chronophage is going towards planned guests so shiki needs to defeat you know uh, the cyborg ninja and somehow get out of that place and uh, yeah with all with all the others so yeah let's see let's see what this um episode brings so without further ado let's get started with eden zero episode number 11. so yeah i'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go just a sec. <clears throat> oh yeah, we still have not... Like, you know, like, there's, there's this whole thing with Homura and... <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, like Homura, Homura found some kind of ether reading in the in the church. So I think that's somehow related to sister. Somehow I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh yeah, Lisana and Mir <laughs> Mirajin was also there within the B cubes. That was like a fun little cameo. Oh yeah, and this as well. Yep. Ah. Like I still think like the sister is the sister we are seeing someone different. I'm not sure because like you know that that one like you no know, statement kind of is suspicious like uh which saying that his her was that which yeah or was that homura I, th I think it was which wasn't it? yeah it was which most probably i can't remember anyways like the statement that uh like you know the id is the same but the outer appearance is different that's a big thing and then homura finds a uh, ether reading from the underground of the church you know like so i'm thinking like maybe maybe something is the matter you know some kind of secret the sister has maybe th this sister is some imposter you know who just has the id of the original sister i don't know <clears throat> okay Okay, let's go. Sister Ivory? Oh, is that her name? Yes. Damn. 
No way to avoid it, so you need to run out of that place. Yeah. Like, like you know, they, they'll become... The time that they have lived, they'll all go away. Like, 50 years. 60 minutes. Oh, damn. 60 minutes. Oh. Okay, yeah, they need to go. Because they need to get out of that place. So Eden Zero is needed. Okay. And <laughs> Oh, the detachable arm. <laughs> Go back. This is yeah, he's just going to attach it. Oh, that the 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 special technique that he uses. Okay. Oh, oh. Whoa. Okay, but still not over. <laughs> it's evolving. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Oh, sister is here. I thought she's going to run into uh, the girls. Okay, this is problem. Mission has changed. Okay, his name is Jin. Oh no, where is he? Ah, damn. Hmm. Yeah, I am also like having doubts now. Oh, whoa. Um, I don't think that's... Oh. Shiki. Okay. <laughs> the costumes of the Opa Opa Hmm Um Pina Oh no what's happened to her? Well, well. Why is her tail wagging? <laughs> what the hell? Why is Pino's uh, uh Pino? Sorry, Pino's eye blank. It's, it's kind of like What's the matter with her? I think something's wrong with her She's looking blankly at Oh my god
Oh, whoa. Below, oh, there you go. I'm sure something is in there. Something related to the real sister or something. Because I also refuse to believe this is the real sister. Like, like, it's, like she's one of Ziggy's creations. She definitely won't be this bad. This sister looks... Like, anyways, let's see. There you go. Okay. Yeah, they look a lot different than. So she's an imposter. That 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 lady. Then, then who is this? She looks a lot like... Oh, wow. Oh, did Rebecca teach him this? I think so. You forget, he has gravity power, he can do anything. He can... This guy was yapping too much. Oh. Oh, great. Wow. Ha. So, oh god. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, great. Oh. <clears throat> oh, there's a hat. Wait, did she get... Lost or did she get ca captured? Oh no. Oh great. Oh great, he he's back. Oh god, this guy. Or this frog or whatever the hell he... God damn. Oh, great. Ugh. Someone please shut this guy up. And you know what will be best? If he gets the taste of his own medicine, if he himself gets petrified. That will be fun. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hmm. 
Huh, yeah, like as as if they would like keep sitting here. Oh, nice. Okay, petrify him. This guy is. I, I was. <laughs> playing video games. <laughs> what? Wait, they're so futuristic and they have these type of video games? What the hell? <laughs> these are some. All right. Nah. Oh, I thought that was a petrification gun. Uh, so that was not a petrification gun. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Blaster and dude. Okay, so who is she? She, th th this lady. Okay, we need to get out of here. So Eden Zero is here, obviously. Uh, otherwise, he's... oh no, no, the Eden Zero is not still here. She seems pretty scared of her. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, he doesn't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now that's not happening. And she also looks kind of like sister, so I guess... Yeah, right. That's why you hooked her up in the basement. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the chronophage is coming. <laughs> Minions. <laughs> Minions. Oh, where is it? At? Okay. Oh, okay. That was easy. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, what's with her? <laughs> Why the hell do they? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it, her power is healing powers. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, was this the the job that? Oh, I, I don't think so. It was ten years ago. So, oh, there you go. It has restorative powers. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh whoa, what's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Clean it. Oh, so he has his own reasons. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Also, also, that's why he was doing the works. Okay, I can understand now. <laughs> yeah okay so yeah I'm guessing they're all going to get in the Eden Zero Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that will help. I was thinking how are they going to get out of this place? Oh, wow. And here it is. Then, excuse me. Uh. Location data. Okay. How <laughs> old? Damn, she's, she's pretty. She's pretty happy about everything. <laughs> She, she seems, seems a lot similar to Shiki, you know, Shiki's behaviors and mannerisms. You know how Shiki gets excited in little things? <laughs> Even in like, you know, dangerous situations? Okay. <laughs> now, first of all, like, I kind of thought like, yeah, this must not be the sister that uh, like, you know, is one of Z Ziggy's, uh, Ziggy's shining stars because, like, you know, we know Ziggy and we also know which. So, uh, we kind of know how he was as a person. So, like, like, you know, like, sister being a person like this doing these type of dubious jobs, like, you know, like, kind of made me think that maybe this is not really the actual sister. Like, I could have understood if. Uh, this sister, the fake sister, was, you know, like, just doing something like some mercenary job, nothing else. Like, you know, the, all the uh, human trafficking that they were doing, all those things were something that she did not know. Like, that's what I first thought what happened. You know, I thought that, okay, like, stuff, bad stuff like this are happening and they're saying that they're working under the sister. So I thought that, okay, like, sister is supposed to be a good guy. And she, like, you know, like, so does that mean that everything that's happening here... It's something that the sister does not know like that kind of came into my mind and then in the next episode we get like you know the confirmation that no sister knows everything was happening 
And then I thought that, so what the hell is happening? Like, isn't she supposed to be a good guy? And, okay, just a sec. Okay, that's the end. Yeah, uh, I was thinking, isn't she supposed to be a good guy? And like, you know, like uh, uh, another thing that kind of made me, uh, like, you know, more confused about this is like, Z was her creator. So he is definitely supposed to be good guy, like a, a good person, like it, it's not debatable. So I thought that, okay, so did she kind of like goes through some kind of like, you know, some kind of character change or something, personality change or something, something happened and she became suddenly like this type of a person and are doing these kind of dubious jobs now. So, okay, in this episode, we kind of get the actual story, what happened. That was not the actual sister. So I guess she now, the, the fake sister, we don't even know her name, but anyways, the fake sister, she, so she came to her for some, I don't know, like she said something about, like, you know, like I came to you because I needed help, but then I went like, you know, too much into the whole, like, you know, started drowning in my power and like people came to me and I started acting like the real sister. So she says something like so that means she probably came to sister for some help some kind of healing you know something some kind of um help she wanted but uh you know like and then like she took everything in her own hands so we still don't know who she was what her actual like you know um, objective was and all that stuff the only thing that we know about her is that she's an imposter that's basically it and like 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 one thing i was quite you know like very like it was interesting to see how she suddenly changed her tone when she saw the actual sister come out so that means she knew that actually the actual sister like you know the real sister sister ivory she was too damn strong and she cannot defeat her because she was acting too cocky like you know like kind of like uh, i'm talking about the fake sister um too cocky and like you know like kind of <clears throat> trying to defeat Shiki and trying to fight with him all those stuffs were happening and <clears throat> then suddenly when she, the actor real, real sister comes in she becomes scared and she starts sweating so that kind of proves that yeah she knew that if sister somehow gets out she'll be screwed <laughs> and that's what happened so yeah now <clears throat> Okay, and then um, another thing, the sister, the uh, sister Ivory, the real sister, she says something about a job. Now, I was thinking, like, was the job that they were being assigned here was something that's related to Illiga? You know, because she said that I came here for a job and then in the end, you know, when she gets to know that the chronophage is coming in the present time, he said that, okay, wait, you guys, I have a job to do, the job that I was unable to complete. Let me do the, that first and then we'll go. So I'm guessing it's then he then she unpractifies the other girls. So like that was ten years ago that she had a job. So I'm not so sure if Illiga was doing his like, you know criminal activities from that moment. So like you know like it's it's it, it was ten years ago. So I'm not so sure, and I'm not even sure if the job that she originally had was something even related to Illiga. So who knows, you know, uh, like so anyways like her job i'm guessing it was something uh related to i don't know healing people or something so he she did something like that you know and like as a side effect of the healing not side effect as an effect of the healing you know like uh the all the petrified girls kind of went back to the original state so it's more like a not more like a healing but kind of changing uh like you know bringing back your original um, what do you call it because if it was simple healing petrified girls i doubt the girls who were petrified would be able to come back because you know healing is just like if you get some kind of cut or something get wounded it heals up you know like that's healing but the thing that she did was kind of reversing some kind of like you know the state of a person or something like that like you know like in animals i've seen a, a few animals where they do this kind of thing where they actually explain that you know that, that there's this kind of a character who heals characters and they suddenly explain the actual theory behind their power is that it's not actually healing but it's actually returning the body state to its previous state you know 
that which kind of acts as a healing method so maybe it's something like that because like the thing that uh, sister did i don't think that's simply healing like i don't think healing would be able to bring back the petrified girls i don't know i might be mistaken but i think it's some kind of special healing that she did some kind of turning back the bodies like you know com com like you know the body state to some you know to the original state something like that who knows anyways i'm not even sure if they'll like explain her power or not in the future but yeah i just thought about it you know because i've seen this thing a lot in a few other animes okay yeah and uh, another thing we got to know in this episode is okay what was his name i again forgot uh, they they told his name in this episode the cyborg ninja's name um just a sec uh okay just a sec i'm i'm trying to find his name jin okay jin jin that's his name um so so we got another information here he came to sister for help helping her his uh his little sister his sibling excuse me so i'm sure like this sister the fake sister said something about like, like yeah i'll help you but now that she he finds out that whatever like everything that he's been doing was for some fake you know character who he thought that would help him he realized that yeah like I, I i've been like you know like tricked now i'm not so sure about why he like you know like there's there must be a reason why he get got angry in the last moment either number one he was very pissed because he realized that whatever he was doing was something for a fake person another thing might be the reason here is he himself might be doing everything unwillingly you know i, th I think like, you know that might be a reason here because he said something like he has been doing all of this just for his sister so that might mean that maybe the things that they were doing you know, you know like bringing in people uh like you know kidnapping people doing these kind of bad stuff maybe he did not want to do that and he is like, you know he was forcing himself to do those things because he thought that sister would help his sister so like maybe the realization that yeah whatever i've been doing these kind of bad jobs that i've been doing was something that like you know like i, I that i was doing for a person who was not even the real sister maybe that pissed him off in the end i think that has a bigger you know um possibility of happening because he doesn't seem like a bad guy so that's why i i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong but i think maybe like you know he was forced to do all of the things that he has been doing the, the other guy the, the the guy with the i, I don't know who like in you know, the mustache guy he's pretty bad like you know like i i doubt like i i i think obviously like you know he he did, did everything knowingly so like i i don't care about him and i don't even like you know think that yeah he has some kind of like you know honorable goal but uh you know like <clears throat> uh yeah what i was saying like he I, I doubt he has some kind of honorable goal or some, like jin but jin he looks like a good person so who knows maybe he was really being forced to do this because he thought that yeah my sister will uh you know like get healed all that stuff so yeah uh okay uh so one thing so i don't know like now like okay now here here's another thing uh he like you know he needs sister's help so maybe maybe he'll go and ask the original sister for help this time you know like i don't know that might be a possibility because he said something about uh you know his little sister needing help so i'm sure like yeah sure i'm sure that he's going to go and ask the original sister for help this time because he did all of these stuff for his sister so now like you know like now that she finds out that all of that were, was in vain i'm sure he's going to go to sister ivri and ask her for help who knows maybe something like that will happen because that's the only you know like possible way that i can see but yeah and uh, 
Okay, and then a lot of things happens that happened in this episode. I have to say, like you know, like small little a lot of things here and there. Uh, and then also the whole thing with Rebecca. Rebecca saving what was her name? Coco. I think what was it? Coca. I think it was Coco. Uh, saving her and <clears throat> like you know what? I would have been like extremely happy if something like that happened. Is if Liga got petrified. Like, you know, that would have been the best, you know, uh, punishment that he could have gotten. But I think that the, the like, you know, like when he, he was kind of uh, pointing the gun at uh, the girl, the little girl, uh, he said something about, uh, no, he did not say anything. Like I myself thought that it was a petrifying gun, you know, but like, you know, when, when Rebecca shot it in the end, like I realized that no, that's not a petrification gun. That's just a normal gun um so yeah like <laughs> like you know when they when were when shooting i thought like oh my god like this is great he's going to get petrified but then it turns out that no it was just an ordinary gun and i was a bit disappointed you know because i like you know it, it would have been great if they really did something like that you know like petrified him like that would have been a great you know uh, res like you know punishment for him so yeah but anyways this also works you know he gets <laughs> like you know he got gets knocked down by that gun and uh, yeah and we don't know what's going to happen to him the chronophage is almost here like you know the few people we're not actually so sure about what's going to happen are uh, the fake sister you know uh, like even though like Jin kind of you know kind of smashed her, her head I'm not sure if she's even okay or not but you know still like she Liga uh, the, the the other person, the secretary of Illiga, I'm not sure who that was, but you know, the other guy. Him, like these few characters, we still don't know what's going to happen to them. Because Illiga is knocked out, Illiga and that secretary guy is knocked out. And uh, the fake sister is also kind of, like, you know, unconscious in a way. So, most probably the clone phage is going to come and consume the planet. And maybe they'll cease to exist. Something like that must happen. Might happen. Uh, we will we'll probably get to know in the next episode and uh, what else another thing i was a little bit surprised was sister so easily accepting shiki like you know she said she, she just like you know like, like it's not been even haven't been like you know it, it didn't even be like you know much time didn't even pass and she just came out beat the fake sister and she says that oh you're the new demon king okay fine like you're, you're making a crew no problem man i'll, I'll join <laughs> like that it went that smoothly i was not even expecting that i thought like you know like seeing her personality like you know like uh kind of uh what do you call it uh tomboyish you know type of personality i thought she would probably i don't know like kind of like it will take time for her to actually uh join shiki's crew she just like was like okay like fine i'll, I'll join no problem uh. <laughs> So yeah, that's good, I guess. And <laughs> and her personality is if I don't know if it's just me, but her personality is very similar to Shiki. Like you know the way he like you know she kind of uh, got pissed off at like you know the person like you know the fake sister and then like you know when they were running away, you know like when she gets to know that the chronophage is almost here, she was like, "Oh my god, so <laughs> like so exciting! I don't know what's going to happen." Like I, I can envision Shiki saying stuff like that. You know, like in, in like dangerous situation, Shiki might uh, <laughs> Shiki is the type of person who might say something like that. So I think she's like you know she's pretty similar to Shiki in like personality wise. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's why she like so readily agreed. <laughs> you know to become one of the crewmates so yeah she seems like a very uh like you know what can i say um very um, interesting character because obviously her no nonsense type of uh, like you know personality that's that's quite like you know uh what can i say like quite rare especially in anime and her you know all the person like all, everything that she kind of showed her um, rough and tough type of way of doing things her easily getting amused at stuff and like you know having like an exciting uh, what do you call it like you know a personality of getting excited like a little child 
that type of personality is kind of like you know mixture of a few <laughs> eccentric uh, uh, like you know eccentric type of personality a mixture and i quite like her and yeah and i i like you know the the, uh, the first sister uh, the fake sister that we saw like all this like you know like obviously like uh, until this episode i thought that was the real sister i had a little bit of a confusion i thought that yeah maybe this is fake but still it was not proved uh, it was not confirmed so in this episode like you know before this episode as i was under the impression that the sister was the fake sister i thought that okay so like this is the sister so most probably she'll like you know like you know later on mend her ways and get into the crew but i was not so like you know uh interested as i really did not like her character at all like you know like she was okay but she was a bit i don't know like like I didn't really like her character that much so I was thinking like oh my god like I really lo loved witch you know like which is one of the four shining stars so I thought like you know all the other four shining uh, all the other three shining stars will also be something like you know like similar to witch's uh, personality so I was quite looking ex like you know quite excited so seeing the fake witch I thought that oh like this is the witch hmm I, she's, she's okay but I, I don't like her that much but now that we see that that was a fake, uh, you know, like sister and the actual sister, sister Ivory is this lady here. And we see her, you know, in action in this episode. Um, I have to say, I really like her character, like, you know, her personality and everything. It's really interesting and I'm happy. Like, you know, she's the original <laughs> sister, not the other sister. So yeah, that's good. So we, we already have two of the uh, four shining stars, two more left. I think one was Valkyrie. And the other was her hermit wasn't it i cannot remember like yeah i think that was the name i cannot remember like these two characters are left we kind of saw the silhouettes so yeah yeah so those two are the only ones left i'm sure we'll get to meet them in the future and i'm looking forward to that and uh, Okay, one thing I noticed, sister has a, a you know, a, a thing written, E2. Oh, does which also have something like this? Yeah, E4. Oh, which has E4 written and sister has E2 written. So is, is that like the serial number as to, like, you know, our number one was created first, then came number two, that is sister. So something like that, most probably. Who knows? So yeah. Another thing I was a little bit surprised here was Pina, like you know her, her suddenly acting like that. Like she she suddenly like you know started talking like in a very robotic manner, and I was like, what's happening to her? Is, is something wrong? And like you know like I can kind of understand. But still, like, you know, like, uh, like her suddenly saying stuff like, oh, like, you know, like we should uh, like, prioritize our safety. So, like, you know, majority, if majority is safe, that's the better way. Something like that. I was really not expecting Pina to say something like that because all this time we have been seeing her uh, as a some completely different type of a personality, having a different type of personality. She was, you know, like empathetic, kind. She had her own, like, you know, like, like tra trauma yeah like traumas and all so her suddenly acting like that kind of like i kind of got surprised at that now i'm not sure like she was really acting weird at that time so i'm not sure if pina was even in her right mind when she was saying all that stuff you know like she was kind of like standing and like her uh, looks was kind of blank like those type of looks when you you know in animals that you get when someone like you know gets psychologically uh, like you know disturbed like you know th those type of blank looks like she was kind of staring uh, like that in a very weird way and kind of robotically like, you know saying stuff so i'm not sure if that was some actual problem she got at that moment or was that her actually speaking you know from uh like, like you know uh, through her own consciousness but yeah like that was a bit surprising i was really not expecting something like that coming out of like you know pina because even though she is a robot you know Still, she, she, like, you know, she, she's very, uh, like, you know, she, we saw her expressing emotions and stuff, so, 
who knows like i don't know let's wait for that because i think something was wrong for you know at that moment because she was kind of staring blankly lifelessly i might be wrong you know i might be wrong maybe maybe that's like you know like as we see see like pina is uh, like you know a robot kind of thing and she's very new to all of these things so maybe she's learning you know like like no one has been able to like teach her like you know basic human morals and stuff so i'm sure like that might be a reason like i'm not sure like that might be a reason and uh, yeah as they say like you know, she, she's like a little uh, baby uh, not baby but a little kid so you know like proper guidance is needed and uh, who knows maybe that's the reason why she was acting like that okay let's see if there's anything else no i think that was it and in the end we see them uh, like you know trying to run away from that place and the chronophage is almost there and yeah so next episode they're probably going to get out of that place so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to eden zero episode number 11 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.